Hello, I'm Dr. Eugene Chu, an otolaryngologist at The Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center. Continuous Positive Airway Pressure, or CPAP, is an effective treatment for sleep apnea patients. However, for a variety of reasons, some patients are unable to use CPAP successfully. These patients remain vulnerable to heart and brain health issues, accident risk, and diminished quality of life. Upper airway stimulation is a treatment option that can help some obstructive sleep apnea patients who are unable to use their CPAP machine. Through upper airway stimulation, a small device is inserted in the upper chest during an outpatient surgical procedure. Patients then use a sleep remote to turn the device on when they go to bed and off when they wake up. The system also collects information and data to help physicians optimize the comfort and effectiveness of the patient's therapy. Upper airway stimulation received FDA approval in 2014 and has since been used to treat thousands of sleep apnea patients. The outpatient surgery procedure to place the device has improved and is now a two incision technique that can be completed in under two hours. Through this new technique, one incision is made under the chin to connect a lead to the hypoglossal nerve, which controls the tongue. A second incision is made below the collarbone to place the battery and the respiratory sensor. Using this new method allows for a faster procedure and improved healing process, as well as lower risk of infection. This animation shows how upper airway stimulation works. When the muscles and soft tissue of the throat relax and block the airway, the device delivers mild stimulation to the hypoglossal nerve, which controls the muscles and movements of the tongue. This stabilizes the upper airway and improves airflow during sleep, causing very little disruption to the patient. The hypoglossal nerve controls two important airway dilator muscles, the genia glossus and the genia hyoid. Targeted stimulation at this portion of the hypoglossal nerve activates these two muscles, which gently push the tongue forward to open the airway. These endoscopy videos show the airway response to stimulation. On the left, stimulation is off, and you can see the airway obstruction at both the tongue base and the palate. On the right, mild stimulation is delivered as the patient inhales. As you can see, the stimulation significantly increases the airflow at both the tongue base and the palate. Ohio State is one of the leading medical centers offering upper airway stimulation and has recently been designated as an Inspire Center of Excellence for its outstanding sleep apnea surgical outcomes. To learn more about our advanced sleep apnea treatment program, please call 614-366-3687.